Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening. My students, fellow traders, I greet you all. Today is Saturday, 25th day of March, 2023. I want to bring you advanced method of LF web analysis as I do every week. Uh, remember, as I always remind you, the questions of what people say under the comments of my videos, they will try to lure you into their scam sites to scam you. If, if you want to make money in trading, take time and learn. If, 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 if you don't want to learn from you, no problem, learn for anybody who can teach you. Trading is not easy. Those who, those who promise to make 10 Bitcoin in a month, don't mind them, they are scammers. Not possible, you must learn how to trade. Okay, please like, share, and comment. Join our Telegram channel. The links are on the bio of this video. At the description, you will see the uh, link from Telegram, WhatsApp. They are all free. If you if, if, if want to open an account for cryptocurrency trading, Binance, OKX, CoinEx, all of them, I all have have the links there. Then if you're willing to learn from me, you contact me, you, you also see my phone number there. The number is available on WhatsApp and the Telegram as well. Okay, let's go to the base of the day. Uh, what do we, this is DXY, what do we expect? You know, my bias is that we will get, uh, that we will get uh, a new high, that's my bias. But even if we not get a, a new high, we will get this. At least we will get this before it will go down again. Or it will just begin to go up from here and give us a new high. Any one of these two will surely happen. That's based on daily time frame. That's what I'm expecting on DXY. Okay, so let's see four hours. Let's see four hours. Four hours is okay. Now let me let me explain something. Last week, last week, because of maybe dollar weakness, the issue, the issue in America, banks are closing down. The economy is not that good this time around. Uh Maybe that's why we are having uh, we are having some some serious problem. Last week the structure is this. This is what we expected to happen last week. Let me let me say it because I expected this to happen after this move. I expected a kind of A, B, C, and I had a move up, but it didn't happen like that. It go all the way down. That's why I changed the structure A, B, C. Before this A, I was somewhere here. So yeah, here A, B, C. So 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 change. That's one of the things that is very good in wave, a lot wave and other wave trading. You will know when the markets are changed, and they know the next thing to do. Okay, once the price closes this place, I know that it will drop to this level. I now change the structure. This is also why I tell you to join Telegram channel because when this happened during the day, I might not I might have time to share it in video. I just post the chat on Telegram channel and it's free. So join. So now the guess why is by now because I've gotten to the reversal zone. I will stop buying. If market opens and something like this happens, then I will stop buying. Okay. That's what DXY. The same is your USD. Your USD is the opposite of DXY. I've been saying it all the time. So uh the, the, the thing that happened here is also happened here. It now turned, it, it have turned just, just like DXY. So now it's selling. What we do is wait for. To, en to enter the cell, if you get an A, B, C, you now enter the cell. 
That's the only thing I can tell you on DXY. I, I want I don't want to go to to one hour. Just take your time, find the cell entry and join the sellers. USD card. USD card, what do we have? USD card, we have two uh two scenarios here. Okay, let me show you daily. One, this looks like a W, and this also looks like A, B, C. This also looks like A, B, C. So if this is A, B, C, if this is A, B, C, it means we will get, it means that here is W. Uh, w X Y. It means we are still going down. But you know, market is forecast. You forecast and wait for what will happen. So now this looks logical and and the wave wise is correct. But let, let us be ahead of the market. Let's let's check. Uh, this move is not like an impulse. So now, secondly, on four hours, let's see four hours. On four hours, we have two scenarios again. The break of this channel can turn this to be bullish. It means we can now buy this at least to, to the level of 1.39, 1.5 before it goes down. Secondly, this can be with A, then this is A, B, C with B, and you get with C. Then from with C again, we go up, okay, before coming down. So for now, let's, this is my take for now. This is my take. My bias is to look for sell setup top and sell USD card. When it comes to this level, we will check whether it has ended or it will do what we saw on daily. I mean, go down lower. So for now, let's focus on here. Okay, so now to enter to sell USD card, what we do is we go to one hour and watch what happens here. Watch what happens here. If we get correction here, this type of move, uh, A, B, C. You can see from here, down. Okay, that's all I can tell you. USDHF. USDHF, what do we have? Uh, daily. USDHF, this sharp drop. This sharp drop created uh, a kind of difficult situation on USD card. So the sharp drop and sharp move. This sharp drop, this sharp move created some uh, difficult issue for those who don't understand the wave, wave analysis. But to us, there are no much uh, trouble because you can see this is sharp. 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 This is equally sharp. This is equally sharp. This is equally sharp. This is equally sharp. And this is sharp. So, not a new to us. So, you the sharp move, the sharp up. So what I'm looking for is the buy to this level. Uh, maybe if, if, if you want to buy this, you can just enter the buy when market opens and stop loss will be here. To trade this, use smaller size. Use smaller size because it can, it can come back and do something else. It can make a new loan. So... That's, I don't want to sell this. I can't sell it from here. But to buy it, you either put stop loss here or you put it here. Okay. But the reason I want to put it here is that if it goes back again and break this low, it will, it will make a, a new low. That's why I want to put it here so that if you lose, you lose little. Pants USD. Pants USD.
Pass USD. What we have here, let's check daily. Nothing much to show on daily, other than to see that this structure looks like correction. This order is correction. Now, the, the question is has it ended here? Maybe it will do this and do this, or we need to go to this level before doing this. Okay, that's where we know. Let's keep watching. Let's check. Uh, Powers, powers. We get an ending, ending diagonal here. Here is our target. It's yet to, it's yet to talk, to go to this level. But now, I think we we get this before we go up again. Let me go down to one hour. I think we will get this, this move before we buy. So I'm not, I'm not looking for buy now. I'm looking for sell to this level. This kind of A B C. Okay, AUD USD. AUD USD, what do we have? Is it, it, it looks like past USD? We are looking for sell. So AUD USD to me, here is what for. We are going to get price down to 0 0.64. 635. Or at least we will get a new low. At least we are going lower than 0 0.6. Six five five. Okay, so look for sell on AUD US. That's all, that's the thing I can tell you. This ABC has completed. It is on the USD. It is on the USD. What do we have there? A similar situation with AUD USD. The only the only difference that. AD, USD, we got a complete move. The ABC hit 100%, but this one did not hit the, the 100%. So what we do now is you, you, you either leave this museum USD and sell AD, USD, or maybe you go to one hour on museum USD and look for correction. Look for a set up around here. Unless it goes sharp like this, but if it go like this, you can sell from here down. Okay, so uh, that's for New Zealand USD, JP225. JP225, what do we have? Uh, JP225. It's going sideways. It's going sideways, so it's going sideways. So sometimes you may leave this type of situation because either we get this, a move like this, a move like this, and a move like this, or it will just uh break this, do this, and do this. So the best thing you, you would trade for like myself. I will go for this. I will forget about this. I, if I get this move, I will sell from, I'm sorry, I will buy from here, put stop loss here. Okay, or let's see four hours. Then on four hours again, it's either we get this. If we get this, it means one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. If you get this move like this, it means we are making what we call leading diagonal. If you just come here, then give us uh, A, B, C, before going up. If this is what you're trying to make. But ultimately, I'm looking for the set to continue to go down. The, the only reason I have a second, a second thought, this, this, this is my primary target, but the, the only reason I, I have second thought is this. I expected it to give me a sharp move from here, but instead it's making sideways. That's why I, I put a question mark on this very price going down. So watch out for this type of move. You know, you know the PY? You know the PY, what do we have? 
uh, I focus on daily or yen pays. The daily is what gives us a nice structure. So no, no matter what is happening here, I cannot buy yen pays now. So let's see for hours. So whatever is happening, I sold from here and closed it around the around the here. It's now buying. So what I'm looking for is if it will give me something like this, something like this, I will sell again. So I can I, I cannot buy yen pays now. So USDJPY. What we have again is going down rather slowly. So I will look for sell if it gives me price if the price comes to this uh, channel or this one. I just keep selling until I I see this thing to buy. So for now, no reason to buy. If you see it, check the daily on, on on this one, ultimately we are going this way, but it's still too far. So let's focus on the uh move to break this low for now. Mm -hmm. That's for four hours. Then one hour, nothing, nothing on one hour. Rather than check if it will reverse from this blue line or from this white line. So I'm still selling yen pays, all of them. Fans JPY, if you see the daily, fans JPY. The daily, this is what I'm looking for. The price to break this channel and drop. And dropping will be heavy 148, uh, 149, 148, 147 is where will be my target. But now it's still fluctuating. So seeing daily, sort of four hours, it dropped to this below this channel. Instead of giving us uh, something like this. A kind of correction to sell. It went up like this. So now, what can happen? Two things. Either we get a move like this, another move like this before going down, or it will go, it still go higher and, and drop. So I'm looking for sell setup. Now I leave it alone. No buy, no sell for now. Good. Good. What do you have on gold? Gold is strong. Is buying and buying and buying. Uh, is our is our got it our target of last week? Rob to our target in the middle week. This is our target in the middle week and going up again. So what do we target now? My target on gold now is for it to give me A B C. So this is good. Eh? This is good B, then C, maybe one, two, three, four, five. Then I will buy again. For now, if, if it doesn't give me this drop, I won't buy. If it means to go up from here, I will ignore it until I see nice structure. Silver. Silver and gold. That means silver was lagging last week, but later in the week, it peaked. I'm going to go sharp. So remember, I tell you that silver, we are looking for a new high, that this has completed. Last time I show you weekly chart on silver, I said this is a nice structure and it's about to break this channel. Once it broke this channel, it's going up. Meanwhile, this is a nice W, X, Y. This, this type of structure I'm looking at on USD cards. Okay, and that's the blue XY. So silver, I don't think this will happen. I don't think it will happen, but it is are possible in the market. So let me leave it, but I'm, I'm not I'm not expecting this to happen. So go go back to four hours. Silver is making a, a kind of di diagonal. We need to break and co and correct. I mean, we need to do this. We need to do this and give us this before buying it again. I always continue to do this, then do this. Which one? I don't know. 
but I can tell you, buying from this level, I don't do that. Selling from this level, a sell can can be uh, good. Let me see, see one hour. Maybe sell can make sense. Um, selling can make sense from here, but no structure yet. No structure yet. 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes for scalpers. For scalpers, selling can make sense from here. Then down to this place, you close it if you're a, a, a scalper. Then if it gives you another correction, you can sell for the break of this. But I, I don't trade 15 minutes and I, I don't scalp. Anyway, I can enter trade on 15 minutes, but I, I don't scalp. I'm a, I'm a swing trader. Okay, that's this. Uh, platinum. Platinum, what we have? A nice structure is forming a kind of ABC. Something like this is forming again. It's making this structure, it's trying to repeat itself here. If you, if you make this type of structure, if I get this A, B, C, I will buy it from here without fear. Then stop loss, either here or here. Here is the best stop loss. It depends on the uh, amount of risk you, 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 you want to take. If a, if a stop loss is here, it can do this here stop loss before going up. It, it, it depends on the amount you are willing to risk, but if price comes to this level, I will buy it. US oil. US oil. This is what I'm looking for. If I get this A, B, C, I will sell oil from here. Then if you want to buy oil from here, let me show you one on one. If you, if you want to buy oil, then uh, if you get some maybe some nice pullback, something like this, you can now buy oil with your normal uh, loss size. But if you are buying it from here, let's go back to, to one hour. If you are buying it from here, that is above this level. I suggest you use smaller, you, you reduce your loss size. Okay. So trading is making right decision. But to me, I would prefer to sell. So this buy is good, but use one of the loss size. But when it is time to sell, sell with your normal loss size. Stop loss will be at this uh at, at one level. That's I just stop loss, or maybe 77.9. So it is for you to decide how to you trade. I'll show you the structure and what I expect will happen. Then you, you decide how to trade. Every trade is risky, but don't take blind risk. Okay, US 100, NASDAQ 100. NASDAQ, uh, the structure I have here, okay, let me go back, let me see Delhi again on NASDAQ. Okay, NASDAQ tried to make a new low, so a new high, but it didn't close above it. Okay, let's see for hours. So for hours, it's sideways, but I'm I'm expecting, okay, let me just go down to one hour. The only trade I see on NASDAQ is if we get this, Okay, let me label it properly. This is the top. This is with A. The B seems to be in triangle. And if the triangle is correct, I will buy NASDAQ from here. It means A, B, C, D, E. So if this A, B, C, D, E comes out well, then NASDAQ will be a nice buy. I mean, selling it may not be good because to sell, it have to close this below here. The, unless you want to take the risk, you can sell from here, stop loss here. But I prefer to 
buy it from here. If it gives me this structure, I'm looking at. Okay, that's for NASDAQ. SP 500. Let's see, 500. What do we have? Uh, let's see, for hours. I'm looking for price to give me A, B, C, to drop to this level. That's 717. Uh, that's 680. This is one I'm looking for. For sell. Now, how did you enter this sell? Let me see one hour. Uh, Okay, the best thing is to sell it below this level. Sell it up can occur here if it goes up higher, but I cannot help you on that now because uh, it's still not a good idea to make, make, make that kind of projection. Selling below here is an ideal and uh, it will drop. We are starting. We are starting. Uh, let's see, Delhi. It made a nice structure, A, B, C. So it's either give us this move. Okay, let me now go back to four hours. So it's, it's either it give us another A, B, C and go down, or it will go all the way up. So this structure is nice. If it comes to this level, send me it will be sweet. Okay, that's the end of the video. I will try to do another video for uh for cryptos cryptos i would like to do another video for cryptos thank you for joining me uh remember to subscribe make a comment ask a questions join our telegram channels is free whatsapp channel is free talk about me my number is there is free that is if you're willing to learn from me you contact me okay thank you for watching and god bless you